Families in Fort Bend County are dealing with a one-two punch tonight. They are stunned to find their property taxes are skyrocketing by tens of thousands of dollars, let alone during this pandemic. Channel 2 investigator Mario Diaz has been pressing for answers on this one. He's live out in Fulcher with more. Mario? Chris, residents around this area feel as if their homes have suddenly gone somewhat underwater because the county came in, appraised the value of their home at a much higher rate, they say, which translates to higher property taxes. People would be buying up real estate left and right if they thought that their home was going to increase by 10% in terms of market value in, in one year. It just doesn't happen. Doug Freer is a realtor. When it comes to property taxes, he says they do not normally go up by 10% in one year. But in parts of Fort Bend County, they have. For Maria Lacasio, that means... I went up... $37,590. Her immediate reaction to the costly increase? I was like, holy... What's the deal? This is this has got to be wrong. Lacasio lives and sells homes in Cross Creek Ranch in Fulcher. The development is picturesque and also 10% price here, according to the Fort Bend County Central Appraisal District. But Lacasio says that is not the true value of her home. It wouldn't appraise for that. It wouldn't sell for that. County Commissioner Andy Myers saw his Sugarland residents hit with a significant tax increase as well. What the heck? Uh, this is ridiculous. A $41,000 increase in a 44-year-old home that flooded? Jordan Wise, the county's chief appraiser, says the numbers are dead on. By law, we value properties based on the January 1st value. And at that time, the real estate market across the county, um, as well as in Fulcher, was robust. We were seeing um, a lot of sales activity and we feel like the values are accurate. Myers is concerned that many are facing tough times already as a result of COVID-19. They have peop so many people unemployed, they cannot only af they can't afford their mortgage, and now we're going to increase their taxes? That just doesn't make any sense. Now, Wise made it very clear in his phone call to me that if you have any kind of questions with regards to your Fort Bend County assessment for 2020 with regards to your property, to please contact his office. They want to work with people. They understand these are very challenging times, but they also understand that they have a job to do. And in this case, these properties were assessed by way of the law. Live in Fulcher, Mario Diaz, keep your seat. Channel 2 News. Mario.